one of these in the future if you guys want, but yeah, I have some questions that I wrote in this uh, cute notebook. I just wanted to say a quick shout out and thank you to Gigi from Sweet Snooze ASMR, um, Chris from Chris ASMR, and Sam from Samuel One World Reviews for sending me these questions. I was worried I wasn't gonna get any, and I thought I'll just wait till, like, I have the community tab here on YouTube to do it, but yeah, they, they asked me a lot of questions, so I have enough to do a video, <laughs> which is nice. Um, so without further ado, let's get into it. So. The first question is, who was your inspiration to start making ASMR videos? And I got a similar question that was, what made you start making ASMR videos? So, I've been watching ASMR videos for a really long time, if you're like, an OG here, you know I started this channel in 2014 um, and never fully committed to it for many <laughs> reasons, but um, I kind of regret doing that and I'm so happy to be back and yeah, I'm, I'm like really committed this time to this channel and, uh, won't be leaving <laughs> anytime soon, so hopefully you won't get sick of me. <laughs> um, so, who was my inspiration? I, I would say back in the day, so I mentioned before I used to look for unintentional ASMR videos, and um, yeah, I honestly thought there was something wrong with me. I had talked about the tingles to my mom, and she was like, she didn't really get it, and she was like, you're fine, it doesn't matter. But I genuinely, at one point, while I was watching these unintentional videos, because I didn't know intentional videos existed, I... Uh, I thought I might have brain cancer, so I googled, like, I tried googling, like, brain tingles as a symptom, <laughs> because I genuinely thought I was, there was something wrong. No one had ever talked to me about it before, and when I tried to explain it, nobody got it. Um, and then I stumbled on ASMR, which basically answered all my questions. And the first ASM artist I ever watched was Maria from Gentle Whispering. 
I'm sure you all know who she is. So she was my first inspiration. Her and Ilsa from The Water Whispers. I still watch both of them to this day. So they were two of my original inspos. There's been a lot of ASM artists that I've watched for so many years. Um, Visual Sounds 1, I just, I feel like I relate to Jen a lot. Um, So, yeah, I'm a big fan of hers. Um, I used to watch a lot of Amal. She doesn't post as much anymore. But, uh, yeah, those are some of my inspiration. The reason I guess I decided to make a channel was because I enjoy ASMR so much, and I thought I'd enjoy making it too, which I do um, enjoy a lot. I'm just like a chill person. (laughs) So, it's like, I don't know, it's just nice. I feel relaxed when I make my videos, so unless people are being noisy, in which case I'm not relaxed, but <laughs> anyway. So that was question number one. Question number one. Also, I just filmed like a really up close video. Please don't roast me for my skin. It's that time of month, you know, ladies. (laughs) And my skin is just not doing well. I swear, it's like my skin was good all week and now I have, now I have like breakouts. Very sad, very sad. Okay, question number two. What? is your favorite animal? That one's easy for me. My favorite animal is cat. Cats. I love cats. I'm a crazy cat lady. I only have one, but I would have at least three. (laughs) Um, Maybe one day. There are lots of cats that come into my yard and I'm not sure if they're strays but I think they have owners and I always pet them and give them treats so my cat's an indoor cat he doesn't venture out but yeah, I swear these two cats want to be adopted by me so (laughs) but I think they have an owner having bubble tea. This is, um, it's black tea. It's like black lychee tea with, um, lychee de- jelly. <laughs> it's really good. Okay, so... The next question is, why do you hate pink so much? The color pink. And I know this is a joke. Um, It's probably Chris making fun of me. Unless he meant, why do you love pink so much? But I think it's a joke. Um, We all know pink is my favorite color. If If you've watched this channel enough, you would know that. I don't know, pink makes me happy, so I'm never giving up my love for pink. I do wear other colors, of course, but when I buy items, I like them to be pink. <laughs> um, okay. What places would you like to visit the most? Um, I would like to visit Japan the most. I've never been 
to Japan. So, if there's anywhere I want to go once COVID clears up, or who knows what's gonna happen. Do you have to slam the doors, neighbors? Do you have to do that? Doesn't seem necessary in my life. Um, so yeah, definitely Japan is where I want to go. Um, I love Disneyland a lot, so yeah, I've, I've lived in a lot of countries compared to most people, and I've traveled a lot as a child. And I guess a teenager. So I don't have this like strong urge to, you know, just visit a lot of places. I'm kind of just like, just want to go to Disneyland in different countries, just different Disneylands. And I'm good. <laughs> I mean, there are definitely, I guess, places that I'll want to explore in the future, but. Again, I've, yeah, um, yeah, so, <laughs> that's my question. What, Oops. next question, what is your favorite movie and book? My favorite movie, it's really hard to pick one favorite. I have a lot of favorite movies. I really like fantasy, sci-fi, um, etc. Um, I guess one of my all-time favorite movies is Pan's Labyrinth. I really love that movie. I know it's like, maybe it's like a stereotypical favorite movie, because I think, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's like a cult classic or something, but yeah, I, I really love that movie. I actually have holding on their notebook, but yeah, the feel, yeah. But yeah, this is one of my favorites. Um, Howl's Moving Castle is another one of my favorites. So, I have a lot of favorites. It's, it's a difficult question. Um, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, the cartoon movie, is one of my, like, favorites from... When did that come out? I think 2018? So it's, it's kind of recent. That is definitely a favorite. Favorite book. Same thing. It's so hard. I have favorites for different moods different genres, different. It's really difficult to pick, like, one book. If someone told me I had to pick one book and I could only read that book for the rest of my life, I would, I would really struggle to pick. Um, I can tell you some of my favorite authors maybe? I don't know. I mean, I love Neil Gaiman. I've said that before. Um, one of my favorite books by him is The Ocean at the End of the Lane. Um, Good Omens. I'm not gonna keep naming his books because I have a lot of favorites from him, 
so I'll end up just saying all of his books. Um, I love Jane Austen. I love Isaac Asimov. I just, it's so hard. But I have, yeah, a lot of favorite books. Um, do you have any siblings? I do have siblings. I have three siblings. Um, but I am, like, not close to two of them. Because I just, they're like, I don't have a close relationship with my dad, so, um, yeah, they're his two kids from his current marriage, um, so, yeah, I, I, they're a lot younger than me, like, a lot, um, but my little brother, I'm, I'm the oldest of all of them, <laughs> my little brother, that I'm close with, we get along really well. He um, is eight years <laughs> younger than me, so just to give you an idea of how much older I am <laughs> than all my siblings. So yeah. Um, what does your boyfriend think of ASMR? Oh, boyfriend slash family. So, my family, I told them I, what ASMR was when I first made my channel, and my mom was like, yeah, I, I get it, okay, like, good for you, <laughs> go for it, girl, like, and my little brother knows as well. Um, that's another. My little brother thinks it's weird. I don't think he gets ASMR, but he doesn't care. My mom, I told her I was redoing this channel, and even though I explained it to her back in the day, 2014, I mean, I guess it's long ago. She, um, I don't think she gets it anymore, like, she forgot, and I was, I told her, oh, I'm doing a Slytherin roleplay, and she was like, what? And she was being kind of judgmental, didn't get it, so I was like, oh, nothing, so, yeah, I don't think she really knows what ASMR is, but I'll explain it to her again. Um, my boyfriend knows he is super supportive. He doesn't get tingles, like, as strongly as I do, but he does get a bit of tingles. I get, like, I watch a lot of ASMR, and he watches a bit. He watches a lot of Chibi. She's, like, the main. ASM artist he watches, but a lot of the time he watches it mostly just to, like, wind down and relax, because he doesn't get a lot of tingles, so. Yes. So he's, he's, like, supportive, which is nice, because, you know, when you tell people, not everyone gets it, or they're, like, weird about it. Um, so it's nice that he gets it and, you know, is like, go girl, like, I don't know, I just feel like there's, he, he could have been like, what are you doing, like, but instead he's supportive, so that's nice. Did you tell your friends about making ASMR? If yes, how did they react? Um, I haven't told 
any of my friends, really. My best friend knows I make videos, and she knows I love ASMR, but I haven't said that they, I make ASMR yet, which I should. She's my best friend, and I tell her everything, so it feels weird not telling her. But she also doesn't like ASMR. I showed her um, Angelica's video, the one that's like, um, cure, not cure, or like treating you with the plague, something like that. <laughs> Where she's like, you've got the bubonic plague. I can't do the accent, but, um, yeah, I was like, <laughs> Whoops, I just swore. I was like, I love this shiz. <laughs> and she was like, but, um, so, yeah, I will break it to her eventually. And she'll be like, that's weird, but she won't, she'll just be like, whatever. Um, it's funny because her sister knows I used to make video. Um, I'm also friends with her younger sister. I say younger, but she's like a year younger than us. Um, this choker is like really tight now. Okay. Um, and yeah, I told her sister, but her sister watches ASMR and has made like one video in the past. So we kind of bonded over the fact that we love ASMR. Um, she loves Life with Mac. I, I used to really like Life with Mac. I don't really watch her um, as much recently. But, uh, yeah, she... So her sister knows I used to make videos, but I don't think she knows I doing it now. So, yeah. Is there a song that makes you emotional? Um, there's a lot of songs that make me emotional, but I, it depends on my mood. Um, sorry, my camera just died, but we're back. And it was what song? Um, yeah, so it's like I'm sad about something and I listen to a song that's sort of about that. I'll get sad. That makes sense. So, yeah, it depends on my mood. Um, like a song that has made me emotional in the past is. Sozinho by Caetano Veloso. It's actually not by him, um, but I've never listened to the original, only his cover. <laughs> but that song like, used to make me emotional, I guess. I haven't. But yeah, it's relative to my mood. Um, another question. First ASM artist you listen to? I already sort of answered that. Maria, Gentle Whispery. Favorite TV shows? Um, I have so many favorites. Um, and these are hard questions, like picking just a few. Um, I'll give some examples. I love Firefly. I love, I used to love, like, Vampire Diary, Supernatural, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, um, Charmed. I watch a lot of cartoons and anime. Um, I'm currently watching 
what we do in the shadows, the show, um, because Jubilee Whispers mentioned that she was watching that, and I completely forgot that that show existed. Um, I've seen the movie, which I loved, so now I'm watching the show, and it is so, so good. I love it. Next. Favorite music. Again, a hard question. I listen to... My music taste is quite random. I love, like, Grimes, um, Ali X, I love Doja Cat, I love, um, I listen to a lot of, like, random musical, like, show tunes. I listen to the Disney soundtrack a lot. Um, I like BGR, I like, like, uh, I'll listen to a lot of soundtracks, like the Steven Universe soundtracks, um, uh, Dodie Clark, I like, I like Cozier, Tame Impala, I like old school music. It's not really old school, but like music from my teens, like Fall Out Boy. Um, yeah. Some examples. But yeah, I listen to a lot of Grimes. Like, I love her Visions album. Um, I listened to that one a lot. I wonder if I'll ever get sick of it. Proudest accomplishments. Um, surprisingly, my degree is not my proudest accomplishment. I actually kind of regret how much time I spent on my degree to realize it wasn't for me. So I think my proudest accomplishment is probably um, becoming independent. Like, I was very much a homebody and I was never like a big like party girl or anything like that. And so, yeah, like, learning to do things on my own, I was, I don't know, just like, moving away from home for the first time. I didn't just leave my home, I moved to a different country where I didn't know anyone. So, and I had, and still struggle with anxiety. It used to be so, so bad. So just the fact that I was able to do that and, like, I think overcoming things that I'm, I've been scared of doing because of my anxiety, they have been my biggest accomplishments. Um, so yeah, I would say becoming an independent human. <laughs> There you go. Not very interesting, but I'm just being honest because it's it's hard to do, you know. Just having to do adult things when you don't want to. You know, like making your own doctor's appointments. <laughs> and actually going to the doctor. 
going to the dentist. That's a big one. Voluntarily going to the dentist. I hadn't been to the dentist in like five years. And I went last year. <laughs> Actually wasn't that bad. I've never had a root canal, so I feel like based on how much sugar I eat, I've been lucky. <laughs> um favorite hobby. My favorite hobby is art. I'm not very good at it, especially digital art. I'm still, like, finding my style and stuff, but I enjoy the process. I love ceramics and pottery. Once COVID is over, I can't wait to do pottery again. Um, it's just so relaxing. I love gaming. Again, I'm not a very good gamer. I would never say that I was very good, but I have a lot of fun and I do play a lot. So I should, you should, you'd think I would be good, but I'm not. <laughs> but, uh, I have fun, so who cares, you know? Um, reading... And... Yeah, I think that's about it. And I guess making YouTube videos is a hobby. Um... Yeah, I like watching TV, that counts. Um, I don't play sports. I, yeah, that's about it. Um, best and worst moments since doing YouTube. So, best moments have been, um, I enjoyed the process, but the best moments have been, I think, reading, like, nice comments supportive comments. They always um, make my day. I've had a few times where I've thought, oh, why am I even doing this? Like, everyone hates me. And I just get anxious every time I schedule an upload because I'm scared of how it's going to be received. Um, but then as soon as I read, a nice comment, it, like, just turns my mood right around, and I think that's why I do this. <laughs> For that, that night, one nice comment, um, literally makes my day, so thank you for those of you who do leave nice comments. I really appreciate the worst part would be getting, I guess, I don't know, dislikes, getting... I, I don't... Thankfully, I'm not big enough to get, like, hate. <laughs> um, I have gotten some, like, not nice comments, but YouTube thankfully filters that, and I don't think of them. They're usually not. Um, the ones I've received have not been, like, personal attacks. They've just been people who don't want, like, ASMR and don't get it. Being like, what the, what the heck is this? Like, so, yeah, those don't bother me, but, um, when I see I like lose subscribers. I'm like, what did I do? I'm sorry. What did I do? But I just imagine they're probably either, I hope, they're just other creators who followed me in, in hopes of a follow back and I don't keep my subscriptions public. But yeah, I imagine they're Maybe I'm keeping a bit of this in, but me when my phone goes off. Tragic. 
I just imagine they're probably, um, people who subscribed to me maybe back in the day and don't like my new content or like, who is this person? I forgot I was even subscribed. Um, so I imagine it's that. I don't know. But thinking it's one of those two things makes me feel better than thinking it's because people hate me. Oh. So, yeah. Uh, sometimes I'll get down about that, but that's just life. Not everyone is gonna like you, so I can't get hung up on it. So, yeah. But the, the positives definitely, for me, outweigh the negatives. So, you know. Yeah. That's, um, the last question. So, thank you so much for watching. If you've watched this far, I really appreciate your love and support. Excuse me. And I'm really grateful for all of you. So, thank you for watching. And I hope you have an amazing week and that you're doing really well. And if you're interested in another Q and A in the future, just let me know. Um, and Hopefully by then I'll have the community tab to ask you guys. So, thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video.